Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Let's Look at um, the Word Together with Beck. So what does look, living as a child of God, a Christian, look like? I feel that many people today are very afraid of talking about things like God, the Bible and faith because they feel very fearful. Talking about God can be a scary topic. So most people just want to put it into the too hard basket and not think about it. But ignoring it doesn't mean that it's not real or that it's just going to go away. Often when Jesus meets someone in the Bible, one of the first things he tells them is don't be afraid. I'm going to share with you an amazing passage in the Bible in the New Testament today that talks about what God is really like. In this passage, John says twice that God is love. What an incredible and mind-blowing statement. We don't need to be afraid because when we draw closer to God, we find out how wonderful He is and that He really is the true, most unconditional and perfect love that we have been looking for all of our lives. So the passage I'm going to be looking at is 1 John 4, 7 to 20. And if you'd like to um, go online and look at Bible.com, you can download it onto your, your phone and have a look at it as I read it. Um, otherwise, you can just listen and follow on. That's fine too. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us and his love is brought to full expression in us. And God has given us his spirit as proof that we live in him and he in us. Furthermore, we have seen with our own eyes and now testify that the Father sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. All who declare that Jesus is the Son of God have God living in them and they live in God. We know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in his love. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but we can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in this world. Such love has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment, and this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. We love each other because he loved us first. If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. For if we don't love people we can see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? And he has given us this command, those who love God must also love their fellow believers. So I'm going to share some thoughts now and I've, I'm just, um, I've got some notes on my laptop. Um, so it's stuff I've put together myself, but um, I'm not very confident in public speaking. So that's why I'm just happy to have my laptop as a backup, in, you know, um, that sort of thing. So here John is talking to people that have come to put their trust in Jesus and he's basically reminding them that living as Christians boils down quite simply to two main things, loving God and loving others and in particular God's family which means other Christians. So Christians are not perfect people, we're just people who are forgiven, living by the grace of God. 
John reminds us that whenever we doubt God's love, we need to look at the cross. The cross shows us what real love is. God has already given us his son and eternal life. We have everything essential that we need. God is for you and not against you. He loves you and he wants you to get to know him more and more. He wants you to draw closer to him by reading his word and talking to him, telling him everything on your heart. God's perfect unconditional love is what really underpins every aspect of your new life with God. You are totally forgiven, totally accepted, completely and utterly treasured and loved. The amazing thing about this love is that it transforms you. Learning that you are created in God's image, created to be a child of God, treasured by Him, it gives you an inner strength and confidence that you won't be able to find anywhere else. Rather than hating the way you look or worrying about what other people are going to think about you, you learn to accept yourself and you learn to love yourself more. Being strong in God's love, you have an inner peace and a resilience, being okay with how you've been created. In this perfect love, as you draw closer to the Lord, you become less fearful. Less fearful because you know you have a great hope for the future and you have a home in heaven. Less fearful because you know God's heart for you. You know that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Fear of punishment has passed, and you have confidence as you draw closer to God that he loves you and he wants to pour out his love on you. There is no limit to God's love. It is like the ocean, big and vast and utterly limitless and endless. One image that has been used is that we are like clay vessels, created to hold something amazing. When you become a Christian, God doesn't just leave you, leave you alone. He gives you the Holy Spirit, which means you now have all the power you need to live the extraordinary life God has always intended for you. Have you experienced this amazing love of God? It's not something you can earn by trying to be good enough for God or by by just trying really hard on your own to be good. If you, lack some, if you lack something, ask God to give it to you. Tell him you want to experience more of his love for yourself and you want this amazing thing I've been talking about. Experiencing God's love has changed my life. For many years, I was a Sunday Christian, just doing the bare minimum to get by. I wasn't enjoying my walk with God and it was more of a duty and an obligation rather than a relationship that I was enjoying. But when I truly experienced God's love for myself, this pouring out of, your, of his love into your heart by the Holy Spirit, it revolutionized my walk with God. I wanted to get to know him more and more, and I just couldn't get enough of him. I wanted to be with him more and more, and it was the best thing I've ever experienced. It, it's a bit like a, an addiction in a good way. So let me pray for you. Dear Lord, I pray for everyone watching this video that wants to learn more about you. Please help them not to be afraid and to be able to draw closer to you so that they can put their hope and their trust in the Lord Jesus as their personal Lord and Saviour. For those that want to experience your love more and more, please help them to truly have an encounter with you and to know how much you love them. Please pour out your love on them by the Holy Spirit. Amen.